Now, if all this talk about a possible trade war between the U.S. and China has you nervous and worried, our next guest has some moves that could provide some protection to your portfolio. Joining us tonight, Paul Schatz is president and market strategist at Heritage Capital. Paul, always good to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight. You too, Bill. It, uh, what do you make, first of all, of these knee-jerk reactions that Wall Street seems to have every time there's talk of tariffs between the U.S. and China? I think it really fits in with the market's performance over the first quarter and the beginning of the second quarter. Look, volatility has been a huge theme all year. It's my number one theme for 2018. This just kind of fits in with it. The market, volatility is going up. It's been suppressed for so long. The volatility genie is out of the bottle. She's not going back in the bottle anytime soon. We're returning to old volatility or the old normal. So regardless of what the news is, I think volatility is here to stay. Perhaps not as great as we saw today, right. but clearly volatility is going to continue to be heightened for a while. Now we keep talking about industries that could be affected by a trade war of some kind, agriculture, autos, uh, you know, transportation sectors, agriculture. Are those sectors that you see opportunities in, or would you avoid them until things sort themselves out? So first, I think you have to have some kind of baseline view of what you think the tariffs will end up. My, my, so my personal view is, I think if we get anything, it's going to be a watered-down version, a negotiated version of what we're hearing from both China and the U.S. right now. Certain areas, I would let the smoke clear. Any sector that's had of a meteoric rise into January and is now declining off that. That's one area, those, those are areas that I would avoid. Right. You mentioned agriculture. I think for the long-term investor who, ag real agriculture, wheat, corn, soybeans, they haven't had their heyday in so long. I think that presents an opportunity. So I think it really depends, you have to boil down the sector, figure out where it is price-wise figure out where the value lies. But the ones that have melted up, I'm probably not interested in right now. Okay, now quickly then, what about those areas of the market that you feel could be protected or, or wouldn't be affected as much by tariffs? I keep hearing about domestic, small and medium uh, sized companies. Do you agree with that? I do, and if you look since you know, the market peaked in January, small caps have done fairly well. They lag for several months and they kind of got up off the mat, they, they have led. It's been led by small cap growth. Remember, small cap companies do most of their business in the United States. So in, in theory, you think they're more protected. Now, if the trade war is as bad or worse than it's, it's painted right now, the, the, that declining ship, the sinking ship, everything's gonna go down. But regardless, small cap value, which hasn't had its day in the sun yet, is one area that the individual investor should at least look at, because there should be opportunities going ahead uh, for, for a sector that has not led yet. All right. Paul Schatz with Heritage Capital. Always good to see you. Thanks again for joining us tonight, Paul. You too, Bill. Thank you. All right. Coming up.